Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm glad we're having this hearing. And thank you to all of the witnesses. Thank you for being here. I want to visit with you in just a second, but I just want to reiterate something that I heard the chairman say that I agree with, which is that there really ought to be government witnesses sitting there. And I tell you what I'm tired of. I've had Secretary Mayorkas sit in front of me at a different committee, the Homeland Security Committee, where I asked him at length about the outrage of 250,000 migrant children unaccompanied crossing the border in the last two years and tens of thousands of them being sold into slavery. Let's not mince words. They've been sold into slavery. When kids are being put into factories, forced to work overnight, forced to work in terrible conditions, they're not getting paid, they're not going to school, sometimes they're not getting fed, that's slavery. And what I heard from Secretary Mayorkas, don't take my word for it, you go look at the record, read the transcript. What he told me was, oh, it's not my problem. We don't have anything to do with it. Not my problem. Now we have a new report from HHS where they say it's not their problem. Amazing how this works. Nobody's responsible. These kids are literally being sold as slaves in the United States of America in the year 2023, and nobody's responsible. They don't want to come and testify to this committee. You bet they don't. They don't want to be put under oath. They don't want to answer any questions. They don't want cameras here. They don't want to take any responsibility. Well, I tell you, it's somebody's fault. It's not the kid's fault. Thank God for the New York Times, a phrase I never thought would come out of my mouth. But really, I mean, thank the Lord that the New York Times did these series of reports, because otherwise we'd still be fed the lies, lies from this administration that everything is fine and dandy. We know just where the kids are. It's all great. They're all fine. No, it's not. Is it fine that people like Carolina Yuck who's 15 years old, and I apologize to her if I mispronounced her name. She's one of the, the folks, one of the young women that the New York Times caught up with. What is she doing? Midnight in Grand Rapids, Michigan, a conveyor belt carrying bags of Cheerios past a cluster of young workers. Carolina, every 10 seconds, has to stuff a sealed plastic bag of cereal into a passing yellow carton. It's dangerous work. Fast-moving pulleys and gears that had torn off fingers and ripped open a woman's scalp. The factory was full of underage workers like Carolina who'd crossed the southern border by themselves, vulnerable, now spending late nights bent over hazardous machinery in violation of child labor laws. Carolina says, sometimes I get tired and feel sick. Her stomach often hurt. She was unsure if that was because of the lack of sleep, the stress from the incessant roar of the machines, or the worries she had for herself and her family in Guatemala. This is totally, utterly, completely unacceptable. And I am sick unto death of this administration coming before this Congress and saying, it's not our fault. We have nothing to do with it. We don't know where they are. The kids are fine. Somebody will do it. Somebody will get around to it. Ridiculous. Let's look at some of the things that we've learned about what's going on over at HHS that Secretary Becerra is doing. Here's some quotes from employees at HHS. At least five health and human services staff members said that they were pushed out after raising concerns about child safety. This is all from the New York Times, by the way. Mr. Becerra told the Office of Refugee Resettlement Director that if she could not increase the number of discharges of children, he'd find somebody who would. Next, 20% of kids have to be released every week or you get dinged. It's a conveyor belt of children being forced through the system and what's the priority of HHS? Just get them out as fast as we can. They go to factories. Uh, they go to slave labor. No. Uh, I've written to the FBI and asked the FBI, where are the 80,000 plus children this administration's lost? They don't know. I've said, it's your responsibility to go get them. It's a direct violation of child labor laws. They're not doing anything. Nobody's doing anything. It's outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous. And the fact that the administration won't come and sit there and answer questions to this committee is absurd. And it is nothing more than cowardice. They don't want to answer questions. They don't want to be responsible. They don't want to take responsibility for this. So let the record reflect that this administration has let tens of thousands of children be sold into slavery, and they are doing nothing about it. And I hope, Mr. Chairman, I'm glad you said that we'd be holding additional hearings. We need to have additional hearings. There need to be administration witnesses there and we need to figure out what in the world is going on 
and who's to be held accountable for this? Because I tell you what's not an acceptable answer. It's not acceptable to say, it's not my problem. We wish the kids the best. The kids are in danger. The kids are in slavery. The kids are being exploited. And it should not happen in the United States of America. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Bloom.